What's up beautiful people? In this video, we will be talking about what you can grow in the month of May. Yes, for real. It's May 1st already. All right, let's go to the intro. Ah! What's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the month of May. Yes, already the month of May is before us. I hope and pray that the month of April was prosperous and fruitful and full of harvests for you all and the things that you may have already started growing, okay? And if not, it's okay. We have another month to get it together and work things out, learn from our mistakes, and do things better for future growth, okay? Pun intended. So with that being said, let's talk about the things that we can grow in the month of May in Zone 9A, okay? So I will post the link to the website that I get my information from. If you are in another zone, you can find your specific zone in that link, okay? So without further ado, in the month of May, the things that we can grow in zone 9A are beans, eggplant, okra, peas, and sweet potatoes, okay? Now, those aren't all the things. Those are the top, what, five things, okay? And I said those top five things because these are things that are fairly easy to grow, right? Beans, pretty much, you soak them, as I did a video on that, put them in the soil and let them grow. Eggplant are pretty self-sufficient themselves as well. You do wanna make sure they have the proper support as they grow because they can be pretty heavy. Okra, those bad boys grow tall, so please be ready to get your bamboo sticks and all steaks out and ready for those bad boys. And then your sweet potatoes, hey, you put them in the ground. Slips, I actually do have some slips that are from my previous sweet potatoes. Oh man. Like, the funny thing is, I've had this sweet potato harvest here in the garage this whole time, and some slips have actually started to grow on the sweet potatoes. So I will use these slips from these sweet potatoes to grow future sweet potatoes, and of course, I'll do a video on how to do that. But nonetheless, pretty fairly easy. Just make sure you have a nice depth for your sweet potatoes to grow specifically, okay? So other things that we can grow in Zone 9A are chili peppers. We can grow cow peas, cucumbers, Numbers, uh, parsley if it's the herbs that you're looking for strawberries as well okay so like these are some things that you should be growing okay I'm gonna grow most of these things one of the reasons why I'm gonna grow chili peppers is because like I've had as you all have seen the rodent problem with the possums and the raccoons and having those chili peppers around strategically around my garden will keep those bad boys away okay so that is why I'm gonna grow those and then of course peas can't have enough peas, man. It's just beneficial for the body. You know, give you that nice fiber to keep you <laughs> active. We'll call it that, <laughs> for lack of better words. And then, as you all uh, may have seen or will see, I have a cucumber trellis that I am working on. And uh, so, you know, hey, it's it's a part of what's taking place. Yeah, y'all did see it. Y'all saw it last week. If you didn't, go ahead and check that out. And so, I already have that bad boy going, and I'm going to do some parsley as well because I want to get some herbs in my garden, okay? Like, I'm working on something tomorrow, okay? Um, I'll say it real quick. I am moving my backyard garden to the front yard garden starting tomorrow, okay? So, make sure y'all tune in for tomorrow's video for that and all of what that will be. But nonetheless, the last thing you can grow are strawberries. I've been trying to find pine berries. Like, the only place I can find them is Tractor and Supply. However, they didn't have them. Like, they were out of stock and they weren't shipping them or anything like that. I've gone to two stores to try to find them physically. They weren't there. So, let me know in the comment section below if you know where to find pine berries, please. I want to grow them for my lovely wife. She loves them, she likes them, and I want to be the one to give them to her, okay? <laughs> if you're a husband, you know what I mean. But nonetheless, that is what you can grow, ladies and gentlemen, in the month of May. So, if there are any of these things that you look to grow, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be in prayer with you and in agreement with you that everything that you sow will grow a harvest that will help you and for others that you find yourself loving and are in close proximity with, okay? So if there are any other like zones and things like that, shout them out in the comment section below. Zone 9A, let me know what zone you're in, what city you're in, and you know, it just shows me that there are other people gardening with me, so I'm looking forward to interacting with you 
subscribe if you're new to the channel click that like button and comment okay i already told you what to comment so just do those three things and i'll love you in advance for it all right see you next time beautiful people and tune back in tomorrow because we start the move okay from the back to the front as y'all know front yard gardening is the new way to go let's go see ya <laughs>